With Youth Astronet, a program to teach astronomy through digital astrophotography, we strive to capture the scientific wonder all children feel, with a particular focus on cultivating the science identities of girls and minority youths. Youth Astronet succeeds because success depends on the people involved. We have the facilitators and educators who run the program. We have the team at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory who provide continuous support. And of course, we have the students. There's still a few considerations to address if we want to help build science identities. First, how do we prepare and support educators? Most of our participating educators don't know much about astronomy or astrophotography to begin the program. To get ready, educators join us for live training webinars, office hours, and one-on-one -on -one tutoring. We take them through the ins and outs of our image capture and digital processing tool. Second, how do we get sustained engagement from the kids? Well, the experience is creative, it's meaningful, and it's real. The technology is real, the photos are real, and the editing and analysis are real. Students across the country access their unique workspaces in the Youth Astronet portal. Here they place requests to our telescopes to take pictures of various objects in the sky. And then we process them. So we colorize them and we put in different filters to see the desired effects. The students then must analyze the embedded information, the same way real scientists at Harvard and Smithsonian do every day, many of whom offer to serve as mentors and answer questions from the students. Is it possible for humans to live on other planets? Have you worked on any robotic creations? How are stars ripped apart by black Among holes? all this real Will science and technology, something? students can get really creative. I took three images of the Orion Nebula and I added a filter to each of those images. So I added a red filter to one image, a green and a blue to the others. And I was able to align them perfectly so it looks like the real thing. Eventually, the students and educators together decide how to present their portfolio of work in a capstone project. Every student creates something substantial that lasts long after the program has ended. This is a piece of work that demonstrates their new mastery of astrophotography and it gives them an opportunity to imagine their own place in the world of science. The final consideration, how do we know if the program is achieving our stated goals? Well, first, we conduct pre and post surveys with the students of every program. Second, we observe how students are interacting with the Youth Astronet portal. In many cases, students use the website outside of program hours in their free time. Third, we talk to the participants themselves. I think being an engineer would be cool now. Like I said, I did not like space, and now I think it's really interesting and cool. But there's still more to discover out there, and I'm curious to learn more. I would like to give a shout out to my mom for letting me do this program. I really enjoy it.